Hi, the doctor's in. I'm Dr. LB and I'm here to help you through your math difficulties. Today, we look at applications of quadratic functions. We look at minimizing and maximizing problems. So, with minimizing and maximizing, if we have a, um, an equation in general form, f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c, then we can determine uh, what's being maximized or minimized by reading through the problem. Number two, we can um, write a function of one variable and put that in standard form. Number three, we can find the vertex by calculating negative b over 2a and the function evaluated at negative b over 2a. Remember that the vertex is going to give us the mean or the max. If a is greater than zero, f has a maximum value, or if a is less than zero, f has a minimum value. And then we're going to need to, you know, go ahead and state what it is that application problem was asking for. Let's look at an example. We want to find a pair of numbers whose sum is 20 with a maximum product. Then it says to find the maximum. So a pair of numbers whose sum is 20. The first thing we want to do is let x be a number. And remember that one of the steps said we need this in one variable. So if x is a number and the sum of two numbers is 20, then 20 minus x is the other number. If we add those two together, we do get 20. It says that um, they have a maximum product. So the product of these two numbers, x times 20 minus x, is negative x squared plus 20x. So they want us to find the maximum product. Well, in order to do that, we need to find what the vertex is uh, or what that maximum point is. So let's look at our um, vertex formula. If we look here, A is going to be negative 1, B is going to be 20. We don't have a C, so that's 0. So the vertex formula is X equals negative B over 2A. That's the first coordinate. So we have negative 20 over 2 times negative 1, and this is 10. Okay, so this gives us one of the numbers, x, and the other number is is 20 minus 10 or it's also 10. So 10 and 10 maximize the product. So that's not really what the problem asked us. The problem asked us to find the maximum product. So since 10 and 10 maximize the product, then the maximum product is 10 times 10, which is 100. So it's very important to read what the problem is actually asking for. Let's look at another one. Find a pair of numbers whose minimum difference is 24 and find the minimum product. So when we were dealing with the last problem and they had that their sum was 20, you know, when you're dealing with sums and you're, you're adding numbers, it doesn't really matter which one's the smaller number, which one's the bigger number. But when you're looking at differences, it matters. So in this problem, we're going to let x be the larger number and um, we're going to let x minus 24 be the smaller number. So it says that we are um, 
they want to find a minimum product. So the product of these two numbers is going to be x times x minus 24 or x squared minus 24x. So here a is 1, b is negative 24, and c is 0. So we can look at our vertex formula, negative b over 2a, and we'll get positive 12 back. So since 12 is the larger number, then the smaller number is going to be 12 minus 24 or negative 24. So those are the two numbers that, that, they, that we need to, um, to find it for the minimum, but they want the minimum product. So the minimum product is going to be 12 times negative 12 or negative 144. So remember that Dr. LV is always in. Please come back for more math help.